Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Uh, here I was going to show you the different tools and gear that I have found to be essential while living out of my car and traveling the country with my dog full time for roughly the past year or so. Now this is my Toyota Prius that I converted into a camper. Basically I took the back seats out and I made this foldable uh, sleeping platform that goes all the way right there. This is where I sleep at night and uh, I've had all kinds of trial and error and learning what works, learning what doesn't work and I've you know gone through all kinds of different gear and tools and I store gear all over my car. I store gear in this little cubby, I store tools in this little bag and I store tons of gear and tools in my sleeping platform. Uh, basically the sleeping platform goes out to right here and it's all storage under here. I have this door with a little magnetic clip that uh, opens like that and I can just push it shut. And uh, it's got lid, a lid right here. And uh, yeah, I made a video of me giving a full tour of my Prius camper and I'll put a link to that video in the description if you want to watch that. Okay, so I took all my gear and tools out and I laid it all right here. So uh, all this stuff right here and back, except for uh, this and this, came out of my uh, tool bag. And then all the stuff here and forward came from under my sleeping platform in the front of the car. Um, you can tell that's all kind of like the big stuff. And uh, yeah, so I guess I'll start back here. So I keep sandpaper. I use that to make like new grounds for my battery and you know, I might need it in the future. Um, that bungee cords, you never know what you'll need those for. You could strap something to the roof. I keep this uh, paracord. It's really, really strong and thin cord. Uh, it's meant for camping and backpacking. I love that stuff. You can use it for clotheslines and all kinds of stuff. Uh, I got like different kinds of super glue. This is uh, uh, epoxy. Um, this is like for removing sticker residue. Uh, I keep all different kinds of Velcro. In here I have like heavy duty Velcro. I have the little Velcro squares and straps. And I use Velcro for tons of stuff in this car. Like this water spigot, I have Velcro right there, Velcro right here. Um, I use Velcro for all kinds of stuff up front. Um, you know, a little tape measure. Here's another little Velcro strap. Um, you can use that for stuff. You know, different kinds of tape. Uh, carabiners, double-sided tape. This is trail marking ribbon. I can uh, make. I can uh, use this to like tie onto tree branches when I'm in the wilderness. In ca you know, to prevent in case I get lost. Uh, extra fuses, screwdrivers. You know, Tylenol. Uh, some more tools. This is a Leatherman. This is these things are real nice to have. I usually keep this in my glove compartment. It's like needle nose pliers with uh, you know knives and everything, razor blades, uh, box cutters, different shapes and sizes, zip ties. I use for all kinds of stuff. Uh, this is a voltmeter. I use this to test my 12 volt battery regularly, um, and you can I can test it at different points. I can test it from under the hood, or I can test it back here. And I use it for my inverter and other stuff. Uh, this is a air a 12 volt air compressor. This is really handy. I keep these two things in this little cubby right here um, And the 12 volt air compressor you just plug it into the cigarette lighter in case you get a flat tire um, uh, I've used it a bunch. I have a plug kit That's what these two things are for plugging your tire in case you get a flat tire uh, you can just uh, plug up where it was if it's not on the sidewall you know um, you can just plug your tire and then pump it up right quick and then you don't even have to put the the spare on you know you can just repair it yourself uh, this is a cool little shovel uh, it's a folding shovel you can see like that it folds like that and then um, I got on Amazon for like 20 bucks I keep it right there I use that for like mainly for going number two in the woods you know uh, in the wilderness when I'm in the mountains and stuff and dig a hole and it goes in that little pouch right there. Uh, a headlamp is definitely essential for car camping. Um, I, I just got this one. I like black diamond headlamps. I think they make the best headlamps. This is a cheap one. I only paid like $20 for it. But um, yeah, they work really good. Uh, power banks are really good to have. This is, I keep always keep your power banks fully charged. Um, that's a really, uh, holds a lot of power uh, and then I always carry an extra phone it's good to have an extra phone um, just in case yours breaks or gets stolen or anything like that um, then you won't be without a phone for a while or you know if your phone breaks you can just take the sim card out and put it in your extra phone and I keep this one fully charged at all times this is a jump starter 
Um, it works for regular cars. Uh, it works best for a Prius because it's so small. Uh, the Prius doesn't require all the cold cranking amps that a regular car does because it doesn't have a starter. Um, I've jumped my Prius when the battery uh, kept dying like almost 10 times on the same charge and it works great. Uh, you know, flashlight, this is a really nice flashlight. I've, ha I've literally had this flashlight for almost 10 years. This brand makes really high quality solid flashlights, Coast. Uh, this is a Bluetooth OBD reader. Uh, it's good for uh, all kinds of stuff. Um, mainly for checking your check engine lights and turning off check engine lights and if you have a Prius there are all kinds of apps that you can access like the computer system of a Prius and you can test the hybrid battery with different apps using that thing and this is a cool little uh, camping travel dog bowl I use it for you know giving my dog water when we're hiking or anything like that or feeding my dog and it collapses like that this is a nice little steering wheel table. It, it mounts onto the bottom of your steering wheel. You can eat on it, you can make a sandwich on it. I use it mainly for eating and for uh, setting my laptop on it and doing some work on my laptop. Um, if I'm outside a building that has Wi-Fi, like Walmart or McDonald's or something. Um, let's see, spray bottles are really good. I keep one full of vinegar and one full of water. Um, I always carry vinegar on me and uh, vinegar is has many uses for car camping I love it I use it for cleaning my dishes uh, and that's because it's a really good cleaner and it's a mild disinfectant and it's edible so just in case you know there's a little residue left over uh, it's okay um, you know it won't hurt you and um, you know, I don't really need running water to clean my dishes with vinegar, which is cool. I can just wipe it out with a paper towel and vinegar. And uh, it's also a really good pet odor remover. Uh, my dog does things in my car that kind of kind of leave it smelling bad. So I just spray those areas with, uh, with vinegar and it completely gets rid of the odor. It's cool. Uh, first aid kit is good to have. Um, this is a solar shower. It works pretty good. I don't use it right now because it's you know winter time, and you can't. It's kind of hard to get the the water warm. Uh, let's see. I have jumper cables. I'll go around this side. Um, I carry an extension cord. I have a really. I have a tablet with a really nice case. This case is really cool. It's really thick and durable, and that this this thing can snap on front, protects the screen or you can put it on the back like this and it works as a little stand so I can watch movies uh, I have a smoke detector it's a C carbon monoxide and smoke detector I put velcro on it and it just sticks to the ceiling like that um, this is a really cool little uh, lantern it uh, hangs on stuff just a basic little lantern it's got magnets and a little clip on the bottom um, this is what I keep my electronics in it's a nice little pouch I keep all my charging cords and extra plugs and stuff in there uh, let's see I carry extra rags for when I clean my car um, I can I you know I carry a uh, wax and rubbing compound because I like to keep my car nice and clean I usually keep carpet cleaner in here too because I, you know, I clean and shampoo my car carpet and really scrub my car down like every two weeks on average because I like to keep it clean and organized. Um, towels are good, of course. I use these towels. I have two hand towels that I use for when I go take a shower. And the reason is because, you know, a big house towel doesn't fit in the sleeping platform very well. Um, you can see the inside of the sleeping platform right here. Um, you know, when you have a big towel with these little small hand towels, I can just stuff them in there really well, or you know, a lot easier. And uh, the same thing with this book bag. Um, if I had a regular book bag, I wouldn't be able to like comfortably store it somewhere. So I got this cool little REI, uh, like flimsy bag. I use that for day hikes or for uh. When I go to the, like take a shower, I put all my stuff in here, and then I can just roll it up when I'm done, like this, and just stuff it in the sleeping platform. That works really good, like that. And then uh, let's see, I carry extra motor oil. I got I carry extra coolant just in case, you know, I need to top off the coolant. 
uh, disinfectant wipes. This is all like leather cleaner because I have leather seats up front. Um, I got two leather seats for the front of my car because uh, mainly because of my dog. My dog, it, I originally had cloth seats. I got these seats out of a junkyard and uh, paid $200 for them. And that's because my dog would get the cloth seats really dirty. Her fur would stick to the cloth all the time. And it just felt really nasty. So I got leather seats and that really fixed those problems. Um, of course, you know, toilet paper. Dawn dish soap, I don't rarely ever use this. This is only in an emer emergency if I can't clean my dishes with vinegar. Uh, flex tape, I use this for uh, like other auto repairs and stuff. Uh, this is a fuel bottle, I carry extra gas. I explained this in my Prius camper video. Um, I got it on Amazon and I read the reviews that bikers were putting gasoline in here. It's meant for backpacking stoves. But uh, bikers were putting gas in here to carry on their saddlebags, and it, it holds gasoline just fine. Um, it's full of gas right now. And the Prius gets such good gas mileage that if, if I were to run out of gas, um, this is enough to really, you know, get me to the gas station. Like, it, it, uh, it's probably, I don't know how much, says 30 ounces, so however much that is, it feels like it's about a quarter of a gallon, something like that. And, uh... Let's see, I have a jack, jumper cables, uh, funnels, um, some more tie-down straps. And then I have a uh, toiletry bag. These are really good to have for when I go shower. It has a little hook. I can hang it, you know, on the, on the, on the, you know, on the wall or something. And I have a, like I have body wash, deodorant, razor, all that stuff that I need. And then I have in here a really cool little camping uh mirror it was like three dollars at walmart uh that's perfect for like shaving and stuff and in here i have like you know fingernail clippers extra razors lotion that kind of stuff um and then a socket kit uh this it's always good to have a nice little uh socket tool kit in your car uh it's really cheap it was like twenty dollars at walmart i'd like i would like to have a nicer one but this is it's what I have for now, and uh, I use this pretty often. Um, that's my laptop. I have this cool little storage bag for my laptop charger. Um, and this IKEA bag is really cool. I use it, you can use it for groceries, you can use it for all kinds of stuff. It's like waterproof and stuff. And uh, the main thing I use it for is firewood. Um, when you're out camping a lot, you know, firewood is really messy, and when you put it in your car, it gets everything so dirty, and it's just, you know, it's kind of a pain. So I can just go into the woods, load that thing up with firewood, and it works works really good for that. And then it's kind of a good idea to have, like, rubber floor mats. I have these really cool Subaru rubber floor mats. Um, I bought them for my uh, last car, a Subaru Forester, but I just kept them myself for this car. Um, they're really nice. They help, you know, keep... You can just shake them out and clean them off real easily. And then this thing is a cell phone signal booster. It's a five band uh, signal booster. Um, what it does is basically there's two antennas connected to it. There's one that I have right here going onto the roof. This right here. And it's a magnet and it just stays right there. And then there's an indoor antenna. And what it does is the cell phone signal, this picks up a cell phone signal and brings it in to inside the car and puts out a greater cell phone signal inside the car. So um, when I'm in areas where there's no cell phone signal like the mountains or the desert, it really helps. And then over here I have, you know, like here's a little wrench for my oil filter. I change my own oil while I'm traveling and uh or all the time really i have wrenches lighters um you can see a cool, my dog loves this little uh toy it's like a tennis ball launcher and uh having a good jack is important also uh the the original jack i had for this car broke while i was changing my uh like when i got a flat tire one time and uh that was uh that was a bad situation i didn't think br it was the to the oem toyota jack also um, so having a really uh, a solid, reliable jack is good. 
And having jumper cables is always a good idea. Um, just in case, you know, that little jump starter I have doesn't work, you know, uh, I can just use jumper cables. And this is a really cool coffee maker. Um, I got it at the camping section in Walmart. It's made by Stanley. And uh, I've tried all kinds of coffee makers. Uh, I had a uh, AeroPress at first, and then I got a French press for my um, jet boil. I had a jet boil at one time, and I've tried pour over coffee and on a few other different ways. And this is, I think, at least for now, this is the one I like the best. So it's a French press and it's really cool because uh, the pot is made of like, I think like stainless steel. And um, you can boil this, you can put this over a campfire and boil water in it. And uh, the French press part of it works really, really well. It has these two rubber O-rings around the edge. So no coffee grounds get in your coffee, which is so awesome. Um, it's like it's the best working co uh, French press I've ever had. And I've tried a bunch of French presses. And you just press it down like that, and it makes really good coffee. And I have this little cool little backpacking coffee mug. It weighs like two ounces. And then these things are really cool. These are called gear ties. They're real cheap. They sell them in packs of two at Walmart and at like camping stores. It's like a rubbery twist tie that you can bend and wrap around anything. I use them for all kinds of stuff. That one I use for my solar shower. And here I also got my solar shower since I'm by a river right now. Um, I just went ahead and put some water in it just to show you how it works. Uh, so it's got like a thing like this. You put water, fill it up, it holds five gallons of water, and then you just set it somewhere in the sun and it warms up. It takes a few hours to get warm and then uh, you hang it on a tree and then down here it has a little nozzle that you twist. Can't really do it with one hand. You twist it like that and water just comes out. And then over here I have my food and cooking gear and some other stuff. Um, I also travel with my ba backpacking tent and right now I have the rain tarp laid out because I just put this stuff uh, uh, to lay on it. Uh, this is my tent. Um, my The rain tarp goes in a stuff sack just like this. Uh, it's actually a compression shack is what it's called. And the way that I can store this in my sleeping platform is by using this compression sack. So basically, I can't really do this with one hand. You press it down and then you pull these straps tight and it compresses it down to like real skinny and I can stuff it in a nice little, I have a perfect little spot in my sleeping platform to put this and my rain tarp. And these are the uh, poles for my tent. These are the, you know, the stakes. And then this is what I keep my food in, all my dry food. And I have a 12 volt fridge. Uh, my 12 volt fridge, it's a real compressor refrigerator that plugs into the 12 volt socket. It works really good. You can set it all the way down to zero degrees and turn it into a basically a deep freezer. Um, right now I have, it's basically completely full of food. I got cheese, I got little things for my dog, I got chicken breast, um, different vegetables. Uh, turkey bacon, I got turkey burgers down there, more cheese, hot dogs, garlic, um, and then I have a microwave. And the way I'm able to use uh, a microwave, I also have an instant pot that I cook in. The way I'm able to do that is I have a power inverter. Um, I explained how the the Prius can be used as a generator. I, exp I just made a video explaining how that works. That's the way I'm able to power these electronics. Um, I'll put a link to that video in the description if you want to watch that. But And then here's all my cooking gear. I won't go into too much detail, but yeah, I have all kinds of spices. This is a, a rack. that Those are for my Instant Pot. I can turn my Instant Pot into a slow cooker with that lid um, and other stuff. Aluminum foil, saran wrap. Got all kinds of strainers. These are all spices. Uh, pl I got plastic bags at the bottom. Can opener. All right, I think that is pretty much it. I think I covered everything. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I hope you got something out of it. And uh, go ahead and like and subscribe to this channel if you like this material because I am going to come out with a lot more videos soon explaining all the stuff I've learned and different tips and uh, sharing my experiences. So yeah, thanks. Have a good one.